All right, let's <laughs> Leroy Jenkins! Please don't put that on the Please. internet. Last week on Waterloo Labs, we showed you how to shoot off a ton of fireworks synchronized to music. And this week, we're gonna show you how to actually wire up everything so you can do that at home. And to show you how we set up the simple hand clapping demo is Steven. All right, thanks, Doug. So we've got everything here laid out in front of me to do the actual hand clapping demo that we showed you last week. So starting with the hand clapping demo, obviously we need a microphone. The microphone is gonna digitize whatever clap or whistle or anything like that that we feed into it and send it into the PC. So this is the program that we use to control the fireworks. We care about this particular green area that we've marked off. When the level of noise in a certain frequency goes above the ambient level, we trigger a beep. <laughs> and this LED goes off. So let's take a look at the code to see what this looks like on the other side. So up here, this line of code acquires the signal from the microphone. And then we put that signal into a queue and we analyze it down in this structure. And then we determine whether or not we've gone above the ambient level that we've set by the certain threshold that we've given it. If we have, we go down into this structure and then we send a digital out to the digital out here on the USB 6009. This is a USB 6009. This is what we use to connect the brains of the operation, the computer, to all of the external circuitry. So it has both analog inputs and outputs on this side, digital inputs and outputs on this side, and all of it connects to your computer using USB, so it's a standard plug and play interface. You can program this thing in either LabVIEW or C, so it's totally easy. The digital out goes to the base on our Darlington Pair transistor. This is a TIP120 Darlington Pair transistor. It allows us to amplify the current coming out of the 6009 device so we can set off the firework. It works basically like any other transistor, but it has two transistors in series, so it amplifies the current even more than a regular transistor. Green is base, the red is the collector, and the yellow is the emitter. The red line is connected to one of the two leads on our igniter on our firework. The yellow line is connected to the grounds of both the power supply and the USB 6009. And then the other lead on the firework is connected through this red alligator clip to the hot line on the power supply. All right, let's blow this thing up. That was pretty freaking sweet.